Okay, so this, this show is very serious. I think a lot of you are going to be shocked. Um, first of all, we know that a lot of people have been talking about teen marriages since the announcement that Republican vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin's 17-year-old daughter, Bristol, is pregnant. And she's planning to marry Levi Johnston, the 18-year-old father of her baby. And everybody was like, oh, my God. Okay, and... Uh, but, you know, everybody's shocked. Everybody's shocked. But Bristol has the full support of her family. But not all teens have that support. The teens here today are desperate to get married, even though their parents are dead set against it. This is Caitlin. So, Caitlin, you look like a baby. <laughs> you look so young. How old are you? I'm 15. You're 15 years old. And you want to be married. Yes. Right? Okay, tell me, how old is the guy that you want to marry? He's 18. Okay, he's 18. Yeah. How old were you when you met him? I, it was about three years ago. He was my day camp leader. Wait, he was your day camp leader? Yeah, he so was dating So you were 12? Yeah, he was dating my sister. He was six, about 16 at the time. He was dating your... Wait, this is not just a show about teens now. Now <laughs> it's a show about not teens getting married. Now it's a show about he's dating your sister? Yeah. Okay, and then you were 12? Yeah. And you met him? He was your camp counselor? Yeah. Okay, and then when did you start dating him? About a year and a half ago. We met at uh, a school. He was with his friends, and I was with my friends, and he asked for my number. So I gave it to him, and we've been dating ever since. You've been dating ever since. Yeah. I understand that a typical date for you guys is like, you like video games. Yeah. What video games do you like to play? Um, probably like Spongebob. <laughs> <laughs> We play like racing games and stuff. Racing games and yeah. SpongeBob video games. Yeah. Very adult stuff there. <laughs> okay. And so you're engaged now? Yeah. I got you have a ring? ring? Yeah. It's not. I'm getting... Oh my gosh. Can we see that ring, guys? Wow. So you have a ring. Is this yeah. a real diamond? Yep. That's a real diamond. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And, and how did he propose to you? Well, he took me up for supper. He didn't tell me what was going on, but I could tell there was something up. And then when we got there, we were eating and stuff. And then he's like, do you want to marry me? And I said yes. And I was nervous about what my mom was going to say, if she was going to be mad or not. Did he get on his knee and everything? No. He never got on his knee. He just, he just put it on my finger, the ring. He just put the ring on your yeah. finger. OK. And what did you think when he's asking? Did you say yes immediately? Yeah. You said yes. And what about your mom? Did, were you scared to tell your mom? Yeah, because she's not even married yet. And she would think I'm too young. She would think you're too young. So yeah. you told your mom, and what happened? She was mad. She was yelling at me and Ryan. And she's just like, you're too young for this. Like, and yeah. Why do you want to marry him? You're, oh, you're 15 years old. When I was 15, I was I'm trying to think. I was in the 10th grade. And I was just worried about if a boy liked me. Like, I went to an all-girls school and was terrified of boys. And would go to the boys' school and be like, like me, like me. I know I'm skinny and look weird, but like me. <laughs> like, what, why, why, are you, why do you want to marry him? Why not just be his girlfriend? Because I feel like I'm very mature than some, some most teens and stuff. I watch my sisters when my mom's at work. And I just feel like I'm, that's, that's just what I want to do. I know I'm going to be with him for the rest of my life. We know so, we're right for each other. So you watch your sisters when your mom's at work, yeah. and that's like an adult thing? Yeah, to me, because I watch them when she's at work. I have to get them ready, and I have pretty much help raise them. That's called babysitting. Yeah. <laughs> right? That, I don't think that's called co-raising. Um, tell me about... The, the arrangements with Ryan. Who lives where? He What's lives with me. He lives with you? Yeah. And where do you live? I live with my mom. And where does he sleep in your house? He sleeps in my room with me. Do you have twin beds and he sleeps in one bed and you sleep in the other bed? No, we sleep in the same bed. You sleep in the same bed? Yeah. Like adults? Every single night? Yeah. And your mother is okay with that? Yeah. I'm going to ask you an adult question right now, okay? Okay. Do you have sex with him? Yeah, it's about maybe two times a day. <laughs> two times a day? Yeah. 
you have sex two times a day. First of all, you having sex, period, is just freaking me out because you look like a baby. You look like the little girls when I'm walking down the street that are like, oh my God, Tyra, I'm 12 and I want to be America's Next Top Model. <laughs> you're sleeping in the same bed. Your mother knows you're sleeping in the same bed. Does your yeah. mother know you're having sex? I don't really talk to her about that kind of stuff, really. Okay. She asks me, and I'm not going to lie to her, so I say, yeah. Okay, so you do say that you are having sex. Yeah. When did you lose your virginity? What age? I was 13. 13 years old. And was it by this guy? No. It was not by this guy. Okay, what do you do for protection? For we, protection against having a baby? Um, well, I was trying for a year to have a baby. And but you were trying to have yeah. a baby? Trying to have a baby? Yeah. So no, no protection, no condoms, no nothing? No. You were trying to have a baby, like an adult woman would try to have a baby? Yeah. And what happened? It wasn't working, so I went on the internet and did some research, and I ordered these fertility drugs on my mom's credit card. You ordered fertility drugs? <laughs> fertility drugs on the internet? Yep. And you actually take those drugs to have a baby? Yep. Did you get anything from a doctor? No. Saying that was okay? I don't even think there's studies on 15-year-old girls and what can happen with, by taking fertility drugs because what drug company would do a research on a teenager because that's not who it's for. You could be pregnant right now. Yeah. I don't know. You don't know. You could be pregnant right, right now. Okay. I know that you have an idol. Who's your idol? Well, Jamie Lynn Spears. <laughs> so Britney Spears' little sister is your idol because she got pregnant very young. Yeah, she, uh, she's doing a better job than Britney Spears and she's an adult. What makes us think that I couldn't do a good job? She's a teen, I'm a teen. So you think she's doing a better job than Britney Spears just because you don't see what her day-to-day -day life is? Just because everything that happens on camera doesn't mean that that's the only thing that happens. Do you understand? Yeah. I go home, child, I look crazy when I take this hair off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you don't see that. Yeah. So this is not who I am every single second. Jamie Lynn Spears, what she represents to the world is not everything. But Britney Spears got her children taken away from her. I haven't seen Jamie Lynn Spears have her children taken away from her yet. Okay, we have to take a break. Um, okay. We'll be right back. Her mother is here. Her boyfriend is here. And I don't think mom knows about... Uh, you still doing these fertility drugs. I think she didn't want you to, know, to do that. No, she took them away from me. She took them away, and you're still taking them? Yeah. And I, I know that you are taking them to the next level. Before yeah. we take a break, tell everybody what you're doing now. Well, I've take, yeah, I'm up my own dose to two a day, like five days out of the month. So you've doubled the dose now. We'll be right back. only 15 years old. She is desperate to get married and even more desperate to have a child. She's 15 years old and is on fertility drugs that she bought on the internet without her parents' permission and she has now doubled up on the dose of the fertility drugs which is not even what even a grown woman is supposed to do. Um, her boyfriend Ryan is here. Uh, this, this boy that she says that she's in love with and she wants to be with for the rest of her life. And remember, She's 15 years old. All right, Ryan, come on out. Okay. <laughs> All right, did you just do that, Ryan, and kiss her like that to just make me uncomfortable? No. No. No? No. Okay. Um, why do you think you're ready to be married? Uh, because Tyra, look, Listen, um, <laughs> me and Katie, like, I'm mature. We're both mature, and, like, she means everything to me. And uh, I love her. I love her so much, and I would do anything for her. And I have a job working 
doing the pizza, pizza man, pizza man job. <laughs> You're doing yeah. a pizza man job. Tell me about that job. Um, deliver pizzas. Okay. Yeah. No, all work is honorable. I'm sure there's a lot of pizza delivery men watching the Tyra show right now and women. But I want to know how much money you make per year. Oh, I only make at least, I think, I think it's about a thousand. Thousand dollars a year? Yeah. Right. Or a month? Not, not a year, like five. That. Like you get paid eight. That's ten, a month. Eight ten. Eight ten. Eight dollars and ten cents an hour. So you don't even know how much that adds up for your yearly income. No. But you're mature. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan. Do you know that you sound really crazy right now? Oh, yeah. Really, really crazy. You see, you can't say that you're mature and then you don't know how much money you make a year. And she had to remind you how much you make an hour. You're showing your age right now. You're showing that you're a teenager. If your love is so strong and you say you will do anything for her because you love her so much. Yeah. And you know she's 15 years old. Yeah. Why, why not just wait? Because um, we're ready now. Well, we live together and everything, and... No, you live under her mama's roof. There's a difference. <laughs> That's a difference. That's not necessarily living together. That's just kind of crashing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me what makes you so ready. We're already having sex and everything. So. Whoa! All right, so when I was having sex, I was ready to get married? <laughs> I am more than twice your age, and I'm still not ready to get married. I'm 34. I'm like double you plus four. <laughs> and still not ready. Tell me about how he makes you, how you say that he's like your Prince Charming. What does that mean? Well, we spend all our time together, and he does everything for me. He tries his best. And I just... He does everything for you like what? Like he, whenever he gets paid, he buys me whatever I want. He cleans when, like he cleans things around the house. And he's just always there for me to talk to, like my best, he's my best friend too. Mm -hmm. So because he cleans and he talks and he buys you things, that means he should be your husband and that you should have babies. He's there for me. He's like my best friend. And I, could, I don't think I, I would be with anybody else. What do you feel about her taking fertility drugs, Ryan? Um, well, we've been wanting a baby, so I'm, I'm with it. I'm, You're prepared for five yeah. babies if they come Not out? Not five babies, but... Do you know that's what happens with fertility drugs a lot? Yeah. When you see the news and it's like, woman has eight babies. Yeah, yeah. She has that because she's taking fertility drugs, usually. So you prepared for that? You're prepared for quintuplets? Do you know what, even a, you know what a quintuplet is? No. <laughs> I have no, no clue. <laughs> if you have quintuplets, that means you have to sell a lot of pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, a lot of pizzas. Yeah. What type of things would you teach your child? What are the things that you would instill in them? Uh, to do the right thing. Like, no... Let's pause right there. To do the right thing. Yeah. Like get married at yeah, 15 get married years old. And no, not not what we're doing. Because that's no. is that not everybody's like us. Not to do what you're doing because no. what you're doing is what. It's the wrong thing. We'll be right back. Yep. <laughs> Caitlin and her boyfriend Ryan are determined to get married no matter what their parents say. Caitlin, Caitlin's mom, Colette, is here. So when did you find out that they were engaged? So she told you, right, after he, he, he did it. And what were, she said your response, you got really mad. Tell me how that felt, what you were thinking and what you were saying. Well, I just said no way in hell, basically, because I was a, being a 15-year-old mother, I was a young mom, and I grew up, you know, and my sister, I have a sister who was 17 years old who got married. So you, ha you were a 15-year-old mother? Oh, yeah, I, her, for her brother. And then she, I, was at, I had her when I was 17. So I know what it's like to struggle. And, and that's, with a, that's with the child and stuff. And I'm a mother of two. Mm -hmm. And basically my response to her was, she don't have a job right now. He's just working a minimum 